When it comes to financial stability, it is something that we really have a goal in life. However, for majority of Americans, including last year, there was a total of 418,000 bankruptcies in the United States, which is kind of crazy to think that money management and financial literacy could really help a lot of these individuals out. But in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the six fastest and the most common ways that people go completely broke. Now, of course, this is going from paycheck to paycheck to not being able to afford anything at all with the first one, the debt accumulation. Now, of course, we know we're at $1.13 trillion in credit card debt. When it comes to high interest credit card debt, the interest rates have not only increased, the minimum payments have increased, but it actually gets to a tipping point or a trap where people can't afford to make that minimum payment, which means that the credit score then suffers. Then you start getting late fees on top of that. You might get a higher interest rate because of the delinquencies, meaning the excessive debt accumulation can really devastate a lot of individuals. Now, of course, a lot of the spending that we see here, again, I feel could be due to the lack of financial education. It's usually on non-essential items. So we're looking at items that are not food, rent, housing, looking at the 50, 30, 20, 50% 50 of that is needs. And the money that we're seeing being spent on these credit cards are not those needs. It is more of the luxury items. It is more of the impulse purchases that we do see. Now, of course, the impact of this the compounding impact of credit card debt. When you think of investing, the snowball method, you start getting dividends, you start getting more. Credit card debt is the exact same except on the negative side. When you think of credit card in the snowball, it becomes unmanageable very fast, taking up not only a very significant amount of your income, but it can also absolutely derail and crush your savings account. Looking at number two, it is the lack of that emergency fund. Now, of course, you know the financial financial education, and the things that I cover really focus on building up that emergency fund because this is going to be what you rely on if something happens. For a majority of Americans that are living paycheck to paycheck, instead of having that emergency fund, they have that plastic credit card and they go right back to the credit card in debt financing everything because that is what they've been taught and that essentially is what they've always done. They've never got to the point or thought they could get to the point of saving that first thousand dollars, getting that three to six months of an emergency fund really built up. So if there's a medical emergency, if there's a job loss, if there's an urgent home repair that requires any amount of money, again, kind of on the paycheck to paycheck, they're going right back to unsecured loans, signature loans, um, really looking at borrowing possibly on those credit cards, which are in a in really have a huge, huge price tag with them. So of course, the impact on this, without a financial cushion, any unexpected expense can really push you into high interest debt. And it really creates that cycle where if you think of people that are utilizing, let's say a cash advance or a payday advance system, it is super expensive, very high interest debt, which can be very detrimental. Now, of course, for this guys, pay yourself first. When I talk about this, even if you're paycheck to paycheck, 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, that you're putting away into a savings account can be a game changer for a majority of people. And also taking a good look at your expenses, seeing exactly where you can cut back on some of those, really loosening up or it's, it's either one of two things really. It's either earning more income or it's cutting your expenses. Those are the two things that you need to really build up that, that, um, that emergency fund. Number three, we get into the investment choices. So when people make poor investment and choices, I feel again, this is a lot of the uneducated individuals that are getting in there. When you start looking at a high risk investment, they're not doing the research. They don't understand the cryptocurrency. They're looking at the get rich quick schemes. It really leads to a very substantial monetary money loss for a majority of individuals. You might have the one or 2% that do incredibly well. You might have the individual that made $10 million on Bitcoin, but you know what? I think even when it comes to the original Bitcoin investors, there were like three out of the millions of people in the world that invest in Bitcoin that actually made an incredible, insane amount of money. Most of the time, people are losing. When you look at the amount of people, especially that I know in the crypto space, majority of them could have broke even. Some of them have made a little bit of money, but overall, a lot of them have lost a considerable amount of money in cryptocurrency. And of course, when you look at those get rich quick schemes where they say, hey, set up an Amazon store, you're gonna make $15,000 a month. Again, those are not normal, guys. That is not the normal way that you're gonna see business. And of course, if that was the case, literally everybody would be doing it. 
Now, of course, with poor investment choices, it can lead to a very significant loss, depleting the savings, the retirement, and also not having that financial security. And also with this, it comes in the range of gambling. So there are a lot of individuals that gamble, whether it is playing the lotto. And of course, since they made literally everything accessible online, super easy to lose a ton of money very quick, thinking that you're just going to earn it back very fast. As we get into number five, it is the lifestyle inflation or the lifestyle creep. This again is another one that we see kind of keeping up with the Joneses, where if you get a salary increase, you get a new car. You get a promotion, you get a bigger house. You go on vacation, you're keeping up with the neighbors. They get a new car, you get a new car. This is probably one of the absolute biggest things that really hold people back when it comes to genuine and real wealth accumulation, where if you're making $100,000 a year, all of a sudden you're making 115. If you take that extra one or extra 15 that you're making right there, put it into an investment account, don't actually account for it. This is gonna be a game changer literally for your life, your kid's life, your grandkid's life, putting away a substantial amount of money, especially when it's not something that you're really used to, is going to make a big difference. Now, of course, lifestyle inflation, lifestyle creep, whatever you wanna call it, the impact of this is failing to really see the compounding aspect when it comes to investing, you're missing out on opportunities for financial growth and also having the stability of having kind of that fallback on the safety net. Now, before we get into number five, guys, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like the content that I'm putting out there. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the six most common ways to go absolutely broke. But as we look in here, number five is neglecting health and insurance needs. Now, this, of course, is one of the first thing that goes when the budget goes. When people don't have money, they all of a sudden quit going to the doctors, quit getting physicals, quit going to the dentist. This can lead to ultra high expensive medical bills, dental bills, if you're not going in for kind of routine maintenance, even thinking of like your vehicle, if you're not taking it for oil changes, if you're not fixing little things that are wrong with it, it will lead essentially to bigger things. Serious health issues, if not addressed, are going to have a massive impact. If you're not having um, the proper insurance, are going to lead to crippling medical debt. And of course, this is the number one Leading cause of bankruptcy is medical debt, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know it myself, but it is interesting. And the final one we look at is failing to plan for retirement. Now, of course, getting into retirement, a lot of people start realizing this about 40, 45, 50. When you have a very short amount of time until you are actually retiring, the time to think of retirement is now. If you're not thinking about it now in your 20s and 30s, that is the time you need to start putting away money. That is gonna give you the time to actually build that compounding interest. So when you hit that age of 60, 62, 65, 68, whatever it is that you wanna retire, you're gonna have a substantial amount of money already set aside, meaning that it is not going to be, you know, big amounts of money that you have to contribute to actually catch up. You can just continue putting in that 15% and it is going to grow. And of course, the big impact with this one, many individuals are continuing to working long after they should have retired, um, relying on government pensions, relying on Social Security, which of course we know is not guaranteed. It can also very quickly diminish the living standards that they're used to or the quality of life that they are really used to. So right guys, so that is six of the fastest and most common ways that people go broke. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and I'll catch you in the next video.